Hi there, I'm Amy Ellis and this is So Modern Quilts. My goal with this channel is to inspire and educate quilters and aspiring quilters with tips and tricks of the sewing machine. I hope that you will subscribe. Today I'm back with the next block for the Modern Quilt Block series and uh, this one is called Stripes. Super fun, a lot of, a lot of rectangles and the thing I love the most is that later there's not a lot of um, nesting. There's not any in the block itself, but even when you turn them, there's, you know, that you don't have to nest anything. It all just kind of works out because of the way <laughs> that it's laid out. I hope you'll watch me stitch it together and make sure to check the description below for your free pattern this week, along with some other great tools and resources that I use on a regular basis. My pieces are cut. Let's go ahead and sew. I very simply named this block Stripes because it's full of a lot of, of strips of fabric that make some really fun stripes in different directions. I sorted my fabrics by the length, so I have some, a few different sizes here, and we're going to start with the smallest pieces and sew them together. So these little um, rectangles, they sew together in pairs and I'm just going to chain piece those together. So here's four sets of two rectangles and they've all been pressed towards the darker fabric and now we're going to sew these together in pairs to make a big large rectangle. Alright so this rectangle is all pieced and ready for the next steps. I'll just show you. My pressing is all towards the darker fabric. Our next steps are actually to encase all of these um, edges with the background fabric strips. So these, um, I just kind of like to, to hide all of the extra bits so that um, it's not coming undone and it doesn't need to match up anywhere. Um, so we're just going to add these here to the edge with a nice quarter inch seam allowance. And I should mention while I'm sewing this rectangle in place, I like to sew with all of these seams up facing me so I can verify that they're not getting flipped over as I sew across. I press this towards the non-pieced rectangle because it's going to help it to lie flatter. So our next step is to add this last piece of background fabric. So this is looking great. We're going to sew these three large rectangles, the longest ones, together alternating with the, the light piece in between the two dark pieces and then we will attach everything to the bottom of the, the unit that we've sewn. So these have all been pressed towards the darker fabric and we are ready for our final seam. So we're going to just flip this over and we'll use a nice quarter inch here along the long edge. Our finished stripes block looks great. Let's take a look at some layout options. The layout options for stripes are fun and also kind of exciting because of all the movement that those stripes add. So first up is just stripes by itself. I like how you get kind of a big pinwheel shape going on with the movement of the blocks the way that they're turned. And I could see this definitely being made in a scrappy variety or you know more tonal like this one is. Next we have stripes and tip top. I love how it adds in some open space and some angles and you kind of get pulled through the quilt with the tip top block added in. Stripes plus a rule of thirds. This is just kind of open and airy for, for you know addition to the block and it helps kind of move your eye throughout it. It's really just kind of up to you what you are really drawn to. I would love to know actually what you're drawn to. And then stripes and accessible. Again, we're just kind of pulling your eye through the quilt, some different angles, different directions with the squares. So again, they're super fun and graphic and I really am drawn to, I think the stripes and accessible is my favorite of the bunch right now. Right now, it changes often. Be sure to give me a quick thumbs up please and also let me know in the comments which one you're drawn to the most. I would love to know. And then um, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Each week there's a new block and I love to share these with you and give you ideas for how to use them in quilts. Thanks so much for stitching with me. I look forward to stitching with you again real soon.